Hello everyone. I get a lot of viewer mail asking about the Aris uh, Bluetooth receivers, the Bluemi HD and the Bluemi Pro. Uh, the Bluemi HD is about 119 on Amazon and the Pro is 169. They're both Bluetooth 5.0 receivers. They both accept all the modern codecs. They both have RCA output. That's about where it ends. Now, before I go any further, sound quality wise, if you compare them individually, they both pretty much have the exact same sound characteristic. I've played just tons of music through these things and they both sound very good, as with most modern uh, Bluetooth 5.0 receivers. Now, here's where the Pro starts pulling away. The Pro not only has this cool factor little screen on it, it... Uh, is a outboard DAC. So if you guys are, are listening to, you, say, music files from your home computer and you're just plugging into your home stereo and you're not happy with this sound, yeah, it's, you're not, you know, what you're getting is you're getting sound from your lame uh, sound card inside your computer. Plug into the Pro and it's gonna be a whole new world. So what you'll do is you'll plug the Pro into a USB socket on your computer those will link up together, no software necessary. This will, uh, your computers, most computers will just see this instantly and then plug this into your home stereo and you're gonna just, uh, it, it's like buying a whole new stereo system. It's much cleaner, much more defined, much better sound. What I wanna do in this test though, is show you something that's very important to me and that's RCA output levels, okay? So that's why I've marked my little knob here we're gonna use a couple of visuals here. We're going to do this sound comparison. You're gonna have this as a visual. You're gonna have these LEDs here as a visual as well. I wanna do a couple things. I wanna play some test tones through here and then I'm gonna play some music through here. And what I wanna show you is how important to, uh, it is to have a hot RCA output. And this is why most vintage receivers, most preamps, most home stereos in general don't like to be played at these volumes. This is where you're starting to get uh, to the uh, maximum headroom of your amplifier, your internal amplifier. It's, things start getting noisy up here. Um, you'll get distortion and it's just not a very fun experience. If you've noticed before on your home stereos when you're playing your CD player to say get to get a, a listening level that you may like, and I kind of like to crank it a little bit, but Usually you're up in here somewhere, right around in here. This is pretty good. When you start getting up in here, you'll notice that you know everything's starting to uh, distort and not sound good. That's a very blanket statement, but that's basically uh, how that goes. Well, I don't like uh, RC, uh, weak RCA outputs that make you play up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you that difference here. We're just gonna do it in a real world situation. I have my AB comparator all ready to go. I am uh, playing to both of these units in Aptex HD. They're both getting the exact same signal level uh, and volume level. So let's start off and, uh, well, actually, let's start with some music here. And we'll just, I'll just kind of demonstrate what, what I'm talking about. A little funky disco, some uh, copyright free music from the YouTube library. This song is kind of cool because it has some chimes and tambourine in the background. So maybe listen for that. I do have my receiver pretty much at flat. Um, and here we go. Notice this and this. Now to get back up to that level, let's, we're gonna have to crank this up. If I want to get red lights, look how high I have to go. Okay, as you can see, there's quite the difference there. Let's cut that. And if you didn't really get the full effect of that, 
through, say, uh, maybe a mobile phone or some sort of uh, smaller mobile device, I'm going to play some uh, a couple test tones through here. And um, that will allow us to hear the difference. We're going to first start off with a 1,000 hertz test tone. This is what most manufacturers use to test product and to um, rate product. So here we go. 1,000 hertz test tone. I'm going to bring that tone up to one LED. There we go. There's that. We'll go back to A. Okay, let's cut that. Let's go to a 2500 hertz tone. The reason why I'm going to play a tone up this high is even though these Bluetooth receivers and the chipsets sound identical, I want to demonstrate what your perceived loss of sound is when you have a lower output. 2,500 hertz. Okay, pretty interesting. I don't know how that came through on your device. Here in my office, um, I not only hear a difference in output level or the volume of it, I have a perceived difference of losing high end, when in all reality, I'm not. However, just that frequency is so high up there, it doesn't sound as bright. Translate that into music, then you've lost the chimes, you've lost the tambourines in that little music track that we just listened to. So again, 119, 169, in my humble opinion, it is the Blue Me Pro for the win. Thanks for watching. Please leave questions or comments down below. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you consider doing so. Cheers.